Dog aggression towards other dogs is a common but serious issue that many pet owners face. It can lead to stressful situations and even dangerous confrontations. However, with the right approach, it is possible to manage and even eliminate this behavior. Understanding the causes. Before we can address dog aggression, it's important to understand its causes. Aggression can stem from a variety of factors, including fear, territoriality, dominance, or lack of socialization. Identifying the root cause is the first step towards effective intervention. Fear and territoriality are often rooted in insecurity and can be exacerbated by a lack of proper socialization. A dog may become aggressive if they feel threatened or if they're trying to protect their territory. Dominance aggression, on the other hand, is often a result of a dog trying to assert their position in the pack. Lack of socialization can lead to a dog not knowing how to behave around other dogs, which can result in aggression. One of the most effective ways to prevent dog aggression is through early and consistent socialization. Exposing your dog to a variety of other dogs and environments can help them learn how to behave appropriately. Socialization should be done in a controlled and positive manner to ensure your dog has a good experience. This can be done through puppy classes, play dates with other dogs, or regular walks in the park. The goal is to expose your dog to as many different types of dogs and situations as possible, so they can learn to navigate these situations confidently and calmly. Training and Behavior Modification Training is a crucial component in managing dog aggression. Basic obedience training can provide a solid foundation of discipline and control. More specific behavior modification techniques, such as desensitization and counter-conditioning, can also be highly effective. Desensitization involves gradually exposing your dog to the trigger of their aggression in a controlled way, while counter-conditioning involves changing your dog's emotional response to the trigger. For example, if your dog becomes aggressive when they see another dog, you might start by exposing them to the other dog at a distance, then gradually decrease the distance as your dog becomes more comfortable. At the same time, you can use positive reinforcement to reward your dog for calm behavior in the presence of the other dog. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. In some cases, professional help may be necessary. A certified dog behaviorist can provide personalized training and behavior modification plans. They can also help identify any underlying issues that may be contributing to the aggression. Working with a professional can be particularly beneficial if your dog's aggression is severe or if you're struggling to manage it on your own. A professional can provide the expertise and guidance necessary to effectively address the issue. While working on addressing the aggression, it's important to prioritize safety. Always keep your dog on a leash and consider using a muzzle if necessary. Never leave your dog unsupervised with other dogs until the aggression has been fully managed. This is not only for the safety of other dogs, but also for your dog's safety. An aggressive encounter could result in injury or could further reinforce your dog's aggressive behavior. Patience and Consistency Remember, changing behavior takes time. Be patient with your dog and consistent in your approach. With time, effort, and the right strategies, you can help your dog overcome their aggression towards other dogs. Consistency is key in any training or behavior modification plan. Make sure to stick to the plan and to reinforce the desired behavior consistently. And remember, progress may be slow, but any progress is a step in the right direction. In conclusion, dog aggression towards other dogs is a serious but manageable issue. By understanding the causes, implementing effective training techniques, and seeking professional help if necessary, you can put a stop to this behavior and help your dog live a happier, more peaceful life. Remember, every dog is unique, and what works for one dog may not work for another. But with patience, consistency, and the right approach, you can help your dog overcome their aggression. Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good?
Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog related content. See you next time.